Hey everybody, it's Video Bob, and welcome back to Video Bob's Bus and RV Channel. I had made a video in a little while. I, I needed to make one, and this is one I was thinking about doing uh, for a while. Now, the caveat, uh, I, I want to preempt this video by saying I am not a lawyer. I am not a police officer. I am not an expert in guns. So please take anything I say with a grain of salt. Please check your local, state, county, municipal, federal laws. Okay? We have to think about security. As you saw in a video that I did just recently, somebody broke into my trailer while I was in the coach. I was in the back, laying down. Somebody, I felt the bus moving. Somebody was breaking in my trailer. They left before I could go back outside. I saw their car driving away. Anyway... There was another time I was uh, I was in El Paso at a Walmart right along the border. I was sitting here making breakfast and I heard the uh, the door latch jingle. I opened I looked out the window and there was this uh, you know Mexican who had crossed the border with his backpack in his hand pulling on the handle. He was trying to get in. What are you going to do when that happens? You got to protect yourself. But as you know, when you're traveling across state lines. There's a lot of laws concerning not only guns, knives. You know, in the state of Texas, any knife is legal. I, I, I've done videos on these. I carry these double-sided switchblades. state of Texas, this is completely legal. A lot of other states, you can't have this. So I don't take it with me when I travel. I take a different one when I travel. So what do you want to do? You know, if you're going to have a gun, most of us have guns. But if you're going through Virginia, Washington, D.C., Baltimore, and Chicago... California, there are a lot of different gun lines and transporting guns across line, uh, across state lines, all these gun laws I meant to say, and transporting guns across state lines in your vehicle because at what point is this a home, is it a vehicle? Some different states and different places have traveling exemptions and things like that. But here's what I do. I'd like to show you uh, my piece of security. I have a lot of these, I keep this one right here. This right here is a cap and ball 40 caliber black powder pistol. Now you might say, why would I carry an antique gun like this? Because federally, any weapon before 1899 is not a gun. If you've ever watched the show Pawn Stars, I've been on Pawn Stars a bunch of times, You'll see Rick say, I can't buy any gun that's past 1899 because that's when the laws changed. Any gun manufactured before 1899 is not a gun. It's not considered a firearm. Also, uh, includes replicas. And also, what is a gun? A gun is a weapon that discharges a projectile via an explosion that happens in a cartridge through a center pin or rim fire ignition. That's how it's worded in 1900. Black powders don't explode, they burn. They don't use a cartridge. They don't use a rim fire or center fire uh, pin. They use a cap that then via the, the cylinder ignites the black powder which burns and via a gas expansion expels a lead projectile. Now here's the downside. I can only fit six shots into this, but let me tell you, how many do you need? So federally, this is not a gun. You can buy this without an ID. You can buy it through the mail. I ordered this through Midway. And um, the downside is they're single action, which means every time you pull the hammer down, you pull the trigger, it fires. You have to do that for each shot. But let me tell you something. If this was pointed at you, and all you saw was that barrel in your face, there is about a half a second lag time from the time you pull the trigger. It goes clink, pank, poof. <laughs> Giant cloud of smoke. But let me tell you, this is what won the Civil War, the French-American War, the Mexican-American War... And uh, the Revolutionary War. This has been winning wars since, what, the 1400s they've had this technology? So the bottom line is, 
for all my travel vehicles, I carry the, I have a bunch of these. You can order them through the mail for a couple hundred bucks. I use black powder guns. Now, if I'm roaming around Dallas or whatever, I've got Desert Eagles, I've got Berettas, I've got all kinds of cool guns. But the thing is, is that when you're in Texas, when you're in your home place and you're, or, or, or a state that has uh, reciprocality, as you've heard, uh, you know, the, the president is working to get a, a nationwide, um, because really it shouldn't be state to state, county to county, it should be a nationwide thing. If guns are going to be federally mandated and regulated, that's the way it should be. But listen, that's a whole other argument, a whole other debate. The bottom line is, criminals know you're driving around in a minimum $100,000 vehicle, maybe $2 million vehicle, whatever your coach is. And they know you got money. We wear Rolexes. We wear nice jewelry. We own nice things. We have cash because we're traveling. We are targets. And these guys are looking for us. They want to rip us off. They want to break in. They want to steal. And they might just do that while you're in the coach. It's happened to me several times. While I was in here, I had somebody try to get in that door. And I had somebody get into my trailer. That's why I have this security system, which I showed in a previous video. So I can literally watch. And uh, something I'm going to be adding. I'll be doing a video on this soon. This monitor's up front. I'm going to run a line back to a separate monitor back there that's going to be always on. Where it, when I'm laying in bed, if I wake up from I hearing a noise... I'll be able to look and see all sides of the coach so I can react quickly. Because, dude, I was in a mall parking lot two in the afternoon. I was in Savannah, Georgia at a huge mall parked outside of a Bass Pro shop, an AMC movie theater, and a Macy's or whatever. And while it's sunny daylight, and the reason I was still in bed is because I, had, I was there doing a gig and we didn't finish till 3, 4 in the morning. I didn't get to bed till 7 a.m., so I was sleeping it off in my rig. That's what it's for. Two in the afternoon, guys breaking in my trailer. And if I'd have gotten that, uh, up and at them a little earlier, they would have seen this. So I'm making this video. It's not necessarily 100% coach related, but my coach guys, you, you know, we're traveling. I was just in Washington, D.C. I was just in Baltimore. I was just in Virginia. Uh, I just went through Atlanta. And uh, I've been to Chicago, I go to San Francisco, I go to L.A., and I don't carry a gun with me. Because this is not a gun. Check it out. Hey, I'm Video Bob. If you like this kind of stuff, please subscribe right here. And uh, here's my next video coming up. Thanks for watching, guys. Tell your friends.